The museum was awarded a, a grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services for the treatment of four Cyrus tapestries. Okay, everybody's all paying attention. Okay, here we go. Are we? Everybody, pay attention. It's coming down. All right. Try to. Okay. And you're gonna do, you're gonna grab up here. All right. Got it. Now that we've got to refurbish the tapestry room, bring it back to what it looked like in Mrs. Gardner's day, we are also taking that project to the next step, and that is the treatment of the tapestries throughout the room. We are going to be putting this at the top that's closest to the, the windows over here. It comes off the wall. Um, we prepare it for shipment, and then it goes on to Belgium. And once at DeWitt, it will be cleaned. DeWitt is a tapestry manufacturing that's been in business for a really long time. At DeWitt, the tapestry will be laid flat on this large suction table, and an aerosol system comes from jets above it, which this system has detergent in it. it actually, when they put on the vacuum, it'll pull the detergent and the moisture through the tapestry. The treatment of these tapestries provided the opportunity of improving handling and um, also minimizing labor that it would take to raise these. So we have designed um, a new pulley system that these would be raised by. Um, and generally, um, in the past, we have used probably anywhere from 12 to 16 people standing on three different tiers to actually remove the tapestries from the wall okay, so and lower the them. Left. And then of course the same action would happen in reverse when we'd reinstall it. Having different people hang on to these tapestries would create a little bit okay, of tension. So right, can the right hang on a second while the left catches up? So by moving up. forward to a pulley yeah, system where the tapestry is attached to a board first and then the board is raised, allows it to cr yeah. just float up the side of the wall. So it's a much gentler, improved handling of the tapestries. And it also takes us take from using way, those 12 people down to five. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> These tapestries were very, very heavily soiled, which created this gray pallor, which kind of masked a lot of the detail and the imagery within the tapestries. One of the really delightful things about removing all the soil was that we got to see some of those small little details pop forward, which really created much more modeling of the three-dimensional form. And that level of detail indicates that these tapestries were woven in a, in a top-notch workshop.